Imagine you have a data science interview coming up tomorrow and the company is TCS. Day after, you have another data science interview coming up. This time, the company is Amazon. Now, let me ask you, what would be your expected salary when you are giving a TCS interview and what would be your expected salary when you are giving an Amazon interview? Is there a difference? I am sure you know there is a difference. How come this difference is coming? And how do you decide that for the same level of experience, for the same profile, I will ask a different number from TCS and a different number from Amazon. That is what we are going to break piece by piece in this video. Okay, And I am going to give you one way to compute what should be your expected salary when you are going to give an interview in ABC XYZ organization. Okay, I am going to tell you how do you compare the numbers and come to a number or a range to which you will say that this is what I expect. Okay, Before going into that part, let me break few myths of salary in data science. Okay, It's very important to understand these myths guys and then we will see how to calculate that salary. Please ensure you watch this video till end guys. I have done research. I have seen salary of people around the world and bringing you some important information. Okay, Let's break some of the myths first. The first myth in the world of salary of data scientist, I will not even say data scientist, I will just say salary of anybody in, in IT sector, let's say. Okay, So people go and search on Google that uh, what is the salary of a data scientist in India or what is the salary of a data scientist in UAE or USA or UK. Understand guys, this search itself is wrong. Okay, Try to understand this. This question itself is wrong. You have to add one more parameter in this question. You have to say, what is the salary of data scientist in UAE in Amazon? What is the salary of data scientist of UAE in TCS or ABC XYZ organization? Remember this guys, the salary is not decided by, you know, title. The salary is not decided by job role or designation. It is always decided by which company are we talking about, right? So the, the money that, you know, TCS and Wipro and all these guys give to Fresher is totally different from the money Amazon and Flipkart and these guys will give, right? So can I ask that, uh, what is a Fresher salary in India? Is it a valid question? It's not a valid question until you give the context. You say which particular org you are talking about, right? So here understand this one myth guys, it's not data scientist salary. It's data scientist in ABC XYZ org salary. That is myth number one. Let's come to the part two, second point, okay? The second point is, uh, people say that somebody got, uh, let's say one crore salary in USA. Somebody will tell you that, Someone got 1.2 crore salary in UK or somebody got 3 crore salary in UAE. Always, always, whenever somebody is giving you a number, right, you should have a different lens of looking at that. Okay. Somebody tells you 30 lakh salary in India. So this is a separate salary and separate analysis needs to be done for this as compared to somebody getting 80k pounds in UK. A separate analysis needs to be done for this salary. Somebody getting, uh, you know, 1.4 crores in USA, a separate analysis needs to be done, taking multiple things into consideration. For example, which city, which location, uh, what is the interest, uh, you know, uh, tax rate in that city, many things will come, okay? Somebody getting 30k dirham in UAE, that's again a separate analysis. So every time somebody tells you, uh, you know, I have seen many people will put in their YouTube thumbnail saying 1.2 crore salary, 2 crore salary, 3 crore salary. Which country? Which city? What location? If you go to UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, things are different, right? So expense will be different. Even if you go to UK, uh, London is different. If you go to, you know, uh, Birmingham is different. If you go to Leeds is different, right? So different, different cities, it's different, right? Myth number two, don't look all the salary from the same lens. Multiple factors will come into picture. 
and third thing i want to talk about and very important guys don't be afraid of you know the myth is i can't ask for more salary that's a myth okay so suppose i am sitting at 20 lakhs per annum can i ask for 60 lakhs can i do that of course you can do that given you are appearing interview in an organization which pays 60 lakhs for your level of experience okay so i have seen people jumping from 12 lakhs to 70 lakhs okay and the reason for that is the kind of organization you are appearing for pays in that range and th that is totally feasible so don't think that i cannot ask in this range okay now let's go ahead and try to see how i am reaching to a number based on which company i am appearing for what is my years of experience what is market standard and few other things into consideration let's see this calculation guys and then we will talk so guys here i have an excel sheet in front of me okay and i am calling this as salary analyzer okay and i am putting some numbers here for example i am putting years of experience i am putting years of experience multiplication factor current salary of the candidate market standard salary glassdoor max okay i will show you how to find out this then years of experience based what is the number market based what is the number so let's go ahead and assume that i have a tcs interview coming up okay so i am on my glassdoor page so i will go here and say tcs okay and then choose tcs i will say here company and i will say bangalore india let's click on search okay let's go to tata consultancy services and let's click on salaries and we will just try to find out what is the salary of data analyst or data scientist in TCS. Okay, so let's go here and simply in the job title, let's say data scientist. Okay, and let's see what is the range it is showing. So data scientist, let's click here. There is senior data scientist etc. Also, there were multiple uh, positions, but let's go here and let's click on um, experience range of 10 to 14 for example and let's say search okay so in the experience range of 10 to 14 in tcs as you can see the maximum we can go is 31 lakhs okay so let's go here and put in our first number glassdoor max is 31 okay what is glassdoor max that is 31 for 10 years let's say 10 year experience guy we are looking for okay and come here and say years of experience 10 multiplication factor is uh, what do you think should be multiplication factor from years of experience should it be 2.5 or 3 or 2 or whatever right so let me put here 2.5 okay what is your current salary let me put it 20 what is market standard hike let me put it let's say 50 percent hike so i will say 1.5 and then years of experience based what is my salary 10 into i am saying multiplication multiplication factor is 2.5 so 25 lakhs and market based i am saying if somebody's salary is 20 it should minimum increase by 50 percent so i am saying this number 30 okay now we have three numbers in front of us suppose you have a tcs interview coming up okay so and you are a 10 year guy so 10 year guy 31 is maximum that you can expect in TCS. Okay. Years of experience based is 25. Now understand this guys, this number can change based on, uh, suppose somebody is lower experience level. So this multiplication factor can be three also. Okay. And somebody is at lower salary range, let's say uh, 10 lakhs package. So this market standard high can be two times also okay so that depends on your experience that much you must be knowing like in your range what numbers you can put right and then glassdoor max you can find out by just putting a filter here by your experience range okay so now you have three numbers so how would i go about saying what number i can go so first of all we will remove what is lowest so what is lowest 25 let's remove this 25 is not a candidate here let's remove this 25 now out of 30 and 31 these two are very near to each other okay so um, you know i will start negotiating from somewhere around 28 and i will try to reach 31 okay 
Now understand this guys, here I have taken one example of TCS, which is kind of not, not like Amazon and you know, some other guys who pay very huge. So based on which company you are appearing, based on what multiplication factor you want to put and based on what standard hike you want to put, right? You will get these three numbers. Either you can take an average for an indicative, you know, number. You can remove the lowest one and take the highest one or you can take kind of some range in between top two. Okay, so this is just an indicative uh, kind of way to find out what you should say when somebody tells you what is your expected salary. Okay, so as you saw here, guys, we have two things which is varying here. Okay, one is what according to you should be multiplication number based on your years of experience. Should it be 2.5? Should it be 3? Should it be 2? I want you to write in the comment what should be the right number 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, whatever you think. I think as you know lower experience level this number should be higher. And second, what according to you you think is the uh, you know multiplication factor based on uh, market standard, right? So in data science people should get 50% or 100% or 80% or 60%. What is that people should get according to you? So if you write these numbers in the comment, right, based on your experience, maybe many people will get benefited and they will have a, you know, better understanding of how to ask a particular number. Okay. So I assume from all these discussions, guys, you understood how to reach to a number when you are appearing for an interview. Okay. I wish you all the best for your interview. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please drop me a comment saying this analysis was good and it helped you. Okay. I'll see you all in the next video guys, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.